Okay, cool. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining me here in my session uh, talking about tensor application for dummies. Um, I actually, the, in the very first stage, the uh, presentation call, was called uh, application uh, for managers and in brackets dummies, but I figured out it would be so harsh, so I stayed with just dummies. Um, my name is Christoph Filno. I'm working with Unique Projects uh, as a technical lead and been into the Tanzu portfolio for around four, four years. And I want to explain in a very, very high level overview what the Tanzu application platform is all about. Because in the last couple of yeah, years, months or years, um, a lot of customers and, and colleagues came over and really asked, well, the marketing department did a good job on explaining why we need it or why it's the next big thing. But what's really behind this name? So um, I just want to get briefly into one of the few slides um, I got from, from the VMware colleagues um, that you get an overview about where you need to put the Tensor application platform at all. So what's, what's really the benefit from it? And uh, yeah, as I said, it's just one part of the portfolio at all. So we got um, like three different bigger topics, the TKO on the right side, uh, we got the Tensor Labs on the bottom and the uh, TAP on the left side. But then again, you see the slide, you don't really know what's behind the curtain, what's, what's really behind the software product. And um, VMware came back with another slide, with another design. Um, oh, sorry. Um, and said, okay, let's look a bit deeper at least. And one more thing you get from, from this slide is, um, okay, it seems to be that there are like multiple steps, look, multiple packages, something like this, what's really into this Tensor application platform. And then we are wondering why, why did they color it in different places? So they started to talk about inner and outer loop. And then again, customer and friends came over and say, what's this? What's an outer loop at all? So um, VMware came back and said, OK, we got another slide. Maybe you can work with this as, uh, even better. So, it's about developer productivity. It's to make your developer being able to uh, get their apps into production on a more easy way. So maybe we can work with this. Um, and it's all about the, the, this path, the steps you need to produce and walk through to get your application into production in a very fast-paced way. So well, I showed this to, to colleagues and, and customers, and they were like, mm, OK, doesn't explain even better what, what's this. So I get back to, to um, the VMA colleagues, and they showed me this slide. And this slide is actually a bit more into the Tensor application platform. And then again, it shows as well what the Tensor portfolio is all about. So we got even more different topics on the, on the right side, which I'm not explaining at all. But if you look at the bigger picture over here, that's actually something you can start to work with because that's explaining in a really high level overview what TAP is all about, what you need to expect when you're trying to like, implement or even think about this. So well, I showed the customers this and they were like, okay, but what's these words all about? So explain me please in a really like childish, childish way what I need to expect, what are these different topics. So I try to step in and explain that when you try to, to implement TAP in your, uh, in your infrastructure, there is different steps you need to consider. So in the first place, um, it's not just one product. It's not just one simple installation uh, which you can put on some service or, or uh, having a service running somewhere. It's different package, different packages combined to make your developer able to produce the application and bring it on its way to the production. So um, then again, we, got, uh, we found a picture which shows you that there are different steps you need to, to walk through, or at least the application, um, to get from the start, from the coding, from the uh, initial thought up until its production. So 
I want to look deeper in, the, uh, in these steps because Tensor Application Platform is not coming in just one, um, one flavor. It comes with more different kind of installations. So which kind of installation? We got like, oh, second, I was too fast talking. <clears throat> so we got different installation methods. Um, there is um, a full installation, of course. So you got every package you want. There is like a, a view kind of installation where you just need to, to uh, implement a specific kind of or a specific number of um, steps to just look into your infrastructure, look into your past production. Um, uh, some, some kind of um, uh, build installation just for the, for the uh, developers. But what's really in these kind of installation? Well, that's where it gets tricky. Because if we put all these steps into the installation, into the packages, uh, we have a bit more to consider. And I'm not, I'm not kidding. Um, it's a little bit more. So let's take just a short look at the, at the list of applications, which I needed to uh, redo this morning because they keep updating it on a very uh, fast-paced uh, manner. So yeah, that's actually everything you can have into the Tanzo application platform. And that's where it gets interesting, because you need to think about all these packages, all these kind of, of steps on your way from the, from the installation of, of the, uh, or from the initial thought from the developer up until you get the application um, into production. So I don't, won't go into any details. You can have a look at it um, on the documentation at VMware. Talking about everything, we would still stay here up until this evening, I think. So um, I would rather go into a detail why we need to have all these packages installed at all. So we have, as I said, different kind of installations. But in the, in the first place, I want to focus on the, um, on the full installation, because that's where we in the best way want to go. So why do we need it? <clears throat> As I said, we have different kind of developers. We have, at best, multiple developers who all want to have their application as fast as possible into production. And that's where the, um, the different steps are came in. Because on the infrastructure point of view, you want to have uh, uh, a secure way, uh, a standard way, a predefined way, which the code needs to go through to be in production environment. And in, uh, in best case, this, this way, the standardized way, is, for, uh, is the same for every application the developer is, um, is building up. So what we need to focus on is like not what the developers are, are thinking or what they are actually are, are uh, programming at all. We need to focus on what the code is running through. So when I, when I showed uh, these slides to the customer, he kind of made the face like, like this. OK, you talked about it for, for a couple of, of minutes about um, everything what's on Tensor Application Platform at all. But am I dumb? I really dis doesn't get it. It's really it's hard to, to explain, hard to, to figure it out. So I tried, uh, I tried to go a step back and was like, OK, then what about all the buzzwords. What about the buzzwords we saw on the slides? What about the buzzwords we heard from the marketing and sales guys? So um, TAP, app, uh, Tanzo Application Platform, is just a bunch of, of, of packages you can install or provide in different ways to get different kind of installation. Um, it's not the whole portfolio. It's just a part from the Tanzo portfolio. There's even more. There's TMC, there's TKGI, there's uh, TAS, there's like so much more to know. Um, 
as we saw, we got an inner loop, an outer loop. Uh, the inner loop is on a very basic way um, the part the developer is using to produce its uh, code until it commits to, to the infrastructure to make it somewhere running into the uh, infrastructure. The outer loop on the other side is what the VI admins and the security department is actually looking to, to make it even uh, safer and standardized to um, get the code up and running in the production as well. Um, we saw the, the buzzword supply chain. What's a supply chain at all? Well, it's, it's a predefined way or predefined steps at, um, on a, a very high level um, where the code needs to go through until it's in production. That's actually a supply chain, if you think about it on a, on a very ba basic way. And CICD. Um, CICTB, uh, CICD is uh, an like, automated process of testing and, and uh, deploying the applications into production. And then again, it's just an automated way. So I figured out at the end that the easiest way to show my colleagues and the customer is to show them the GUI, the tab GUI, because it has a GUI, at least for, um, um, for the VI admins. And does anybody know how it looks like here in the audience? No, nobody? Awesome. OK, then let's have a look. In the end, it's just, um, it's just a GUI. It's, uh, it's really focusing on the standard VMware console kind of way. And it's really nothing more. And it's really simple to, to um, wrong picture. It's really simple to understand, because there is not, uh, nothing complex about it. So we got, in the end, for the, for the VI admins, um, like a basic overview about what is running, where are our um, supply chain, how is it called, um, where is it installed to, and really everything on a, on a dashboard kind of way. But let's have a look into the navigation on the left side. So we have um, our home. It's like a dashboard about what you've installed in, uh, previously. Um, you also have the opportunity to implement documentation about what you really build up in this, um, in this infrastructure. Um, you can have application applic um, accelerators, which will help you um, start deploying your code, start implementing your code, to start to, to make it like an uh, like your first steps for the, de um, for the developer to get your code up and running. Um, you, of course, have the, um, the option to look into APIs as well. And the next part is probably the, uh, the most interesting because it shows you what supply chains, what standardized ways you already predefined um, to get your application uh, into production. And when we look deeper into the supply chain, we can also see the different packages, the different steps the code must go through to make it into the production as well. And it's not just that we can see what the steps are, we got information out of it. So we can see if the application was successful running a package, like a security uh, scanner. Uh, and give you information about what's happening in, um, inside it. So the, the steps you can see here are not uh, written in stone. You can, you can uh, modify them. You can even put more into it. You can um, scrap some, um, some steps out of it. Um, it's not, it's not hard-coded for the, for the VI admin. Um, and that's the beauty of it. So you can really figure out your own way, but your own standardized way to make your developer able to uh, commit their code and paste it into a production. Um, maybe you already saw it, but the uh, screenshot I show you here are from the um, hands-on labs from, from VMware. I really can recommend these, um, these hands-on labs because gives you a cool insight about what Tensor Application Platform is all about. And that's actually 
the end of my session, I really want to recommend again that the Tanzu um, hands-on labs is the next place to be, I think. Um, but if you also want to have a look into the documentation, I just paste some, um, some links here as well. And that's actually it. I appreciate your time over here. Thanks. <laughs>